Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is the Black Pepper Crew, a turn-based tactics roguelite. So I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today as part of the Steam Next Fest. Let's pop on in and see what it's all about. Change the name. It feels wrong to change it from the Black Pepper Jazz Club. Let's go on in with the tutorial. See what it's all about. Where is everyone? Seems I'm running the solo. Easy, let's handle this idiot. We'll see about that, bounty hunter. Let's move near that card card box. <laughs> Every character has three abilities, movement, attack, and special. They can be performed in any order every turn. The movement stat determines the amount of spaces they can move. To move, click a character, press the run button. Okay, you have jump, kick, and swap. I shall move you in. Napoleon's special ability allows him to swap position with enemies, allies, or objects that are in an adjacent space. Press swap and choose the target. Sounds good. Jump kick is Napoleon's attack ability. Napoleon can either attack an adjacent space for one damage, or jump and reach an enemy two spaces away for two damage. Napoleon's attack damage changes because the attack has momentum, which increases damage by one the further the enemy is. Study the attacks abilities of your characters, and they might have different perks. Well, all right, in we go. For this tutorial mission, Napoleon has equipped an armor item called the Thin Vest, which adds an armor. Armor will items will receive damage equal to its armor capacity before depleting and being discarded. When attacked, the character will receive the remainder of the damage the armor received. When attacked, the character will receive the remainder of the... Gotcha. So we are going to take a smack in here. <laughs> All right. Just a, just a wet slap in the face. Is there um accessibility? We can't turn off the screen flashes. There is an accessibility tab, but no screen flash setting. I would say that is very much a good call. Okay, so for now, do we kind of... How much movement do you have? Do we get a no? Oh, you only have one health. It doesn't really matter. We can hit you from anywhere. Schmack. But yeah, the white, the white flash on every action is going to be a lot. I love the visual style of this, though. Like, a lot. The equipment screen offers a chance to re-equip and heal your characters after completing combat room. There's four different item types. Armor, which provides protection. Consumable, adds one-time usage ability. In combat, healing, heals a character. Yep, gadget, adds perks and abilities to the equipped character. This screen has a mission map that shows the upcoming combat room and its challenges and rewards. In some cases, there might be more than one upcoming room, and one can be chosen by clicking on the map. So, are you... are you missing health? Revive syringe? I mean, hey... I'm just going to go for it. There's something that feels like um, like early PC games to me. I don't know if it's just like the the music and the theme and the animals is making me think of like Spy Fox or something like that, but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting, and I like that vibe. <laughs> Frank, perfect timing. Looks like you're in a pinch. Not really, but let's tag team this up. Frank's special is Tongue Lasso, which allows him to pull enemies and objects towards him. Including allies, it looked like. Pull. Pull, punch, knock. Okay, that that combo is so fun. Like, th that being your two moves, I really like it. Attack is the punch, does two damage to the enemy, and also knocks them back. Pushes them back to space. If that space is occupied, they will bounce back to the original position, and both characters will receive one damage. I mean, I'll just push you back here for now. And then, theoretically, we can just do a little bit of a... Shpop. Enemies might drop a loot bag when they're knocked out. Grab them before enemies do, because enemy... Or wait, loot bags that are not grabbed will be... Wait. Grab them before enemies do. Loot bags that are not grabbed at the end of combat will be looted automatically. So, we don't need to pick them up as long as the enemies aren't going to pick them up. If we can kill the enemies or make it so they can't get to them, then it doesn't matter. After clearing, cleaning up the room, the loot bags will be revealed. The items can be added to the equipment bag. Once the equipment screen between, on the equipment screen between combat rooms, the characters can be re-equipped. Cool. Uh, 
Looks like we're safe if we just move here and end. Probably should have moved you, but for this case scenario, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Moment. All right. So we've got... The tongue can be... You can pull from anywhere. Okay, I, I love already how simple the concept of everything is, and yet the amount of different... Since we can do every single thing in any order, and we can do all of the actions, there's still so much flexibility already, and I can only imagine we're going to get a third-party member at least. Thin vest. So we can grab that and pop that in. Healing items can only be used on this screen between combat rooms. To heal a character, drag it onto the... Yep, onto the character you wish to heal. If a character is knocked out, knocked out and is not revived before the mission ends, it will die. To avoid this, always carry items that revive wounded characters. Okay. Nobody's missing health for right now, though, so we're good to go. Oh, hey! Vera's in trouble! I believe she can get herself out. There you are. I'll get you guys in a minute. Vera's attack is a slash, does one damage, and moves Vera behind the enemy. Has a combo chain, letting you perform it several times on the same turn, as long as it does not trigger against the same enemy twice. I love that. Wait, so we could literally play checkers with her? That's super fun. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's so fun. Wait, because, like, here's the thing. Already, just with the ability to move characters with the frogman by pulling and knocking back, just thinking about this character and Varric together, there's a lot of different options already. Adding a lot of complexity in what you can do without adding complexity in how it works, which is really, really ideal in a turn-based tactics game, in my opinion. You can keep adding attacks as long as Vera has targets in her new position and does not repeat a target. When you're done building the chain, just press accept and she'll perform the chain attack. One last thing, if Vera doesn't have an available space behind the enemy who's in range, she cannot perform the attack. Attacks that have combo chain will always move the attacking character. Keep in mind the attack pattern to avoid targeting miscalculations. So she literally can't attack if... That's it. Okay. So we can go for like a... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Can we? Oh, and then we can uh, we can actually hop over the box too. Should I? I guess I will. Vera can move twice each turn. Her special ability is dash, which lets her move two spaces on diagonals. You are, you really are checkers, basically. I mean, we're good. I could, like, I guess try and yoink somebody. The thing is, I guess I'd maybe need to. Yeah, no, they have it in a spot where I can't do it safely. So I can actually just, like, let them come to me. Checking. And then... This will probably be fine. Well, I guess we want to... Maybe be at a diagonal? It's kind of hard to say. Hard to say. I'm assuming these guys have to do a melee... In, like, you know, the four directions. No diagonals. Hmm. So we can't really get, like, a too big of a combo here going. And I guess we could have, like, <sighs> hop, hop. Yeah, because this barrel's in the way. Hmm. Wait. This is just for science. So how much health do you have? They've only taken one damage, so... It's 
maybe not the most wise choice, but I could move here and I could punch this barrel out of the way. Which is kind of fun. I'm gonna do it. I don't care that it's not the best move. It's the tutorial and I wanna... I wanna show off how cool... this is already. I mean, that's just so neat. Do we hang here? I guess we can move back. Doot, 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 doot. Really, the only thing I don't like is the uh, the amount of screen flash. Is I find it unnecessary. Alright, so we're obviously going to take a little bit of a smacking because we wanted to do the cool thing. The jump kick is enough to kill. I think that's alright. Whoop. We don't take his spot, though. Yeah. It's unfortunate. We're, we're, we're putting ourselves in danger just because I want to do a little bit of fun leapfrogging. Do you have any more moves? You do. I wish I could... Is there a key to... Show... Hmm. Alt, control... Yeah, if there's ever, like, a key that shows all of the enemy's attacks at the same time, I feel like that's kind of a good one to have. Especially with... Okay, there are undos. But only for the last action did. Gotcha. Good to know. Nothing I can do here. Can you swap with the backpack? Nope. I think I'm probably... Probably just gonna be done and... Take the one hit? Two hits. One hit. He didn't want to come get the free frog. Is there a... um? I think I saw enemy turn speed. Let's go for fast. It's relatively slow there. And this is nothing. We can go ahead and go for... Boop. Boop. That's nothing. Get out of here. The fact that we can only, you know, you have to move all of your movement, and then you have to make your attack means that we got to be very, very specific. All right, we have a bunch of apples. We can just heal ourselves up. It's really not a big deal. Yep. Movement debuff minus two. Vest for the agile soldier. Sure. I don't know if I want to have minus movement on you or not. You can move three spaces. Because you're going to be up close and personal. It almost is better to do it this way, to be honest. And we'll just keep in mind that he's got the big armor. What the hell is your deal, man? Do you think that capturing me was going to be a quick cash grab? Prepare for a world of pain. Took you so long. I can use some help here. Get some distance. We'll get there. Uh, Bit's attack ability is plasma pistol. It's a ranged attack. Does one damage to hit a target. You have to be positioned in a direct line. Be careful with your positioning as the attack can be blocked by unwanted objects or characters. Energy cost, too. We don't have any right now. I mean... Now let's do that strategic retreat. On the next turn, I'll have enough energy to perform a stun shock. So it looks like if I just move back two tiles, that's actually going to be pretty optimal. And this is not really much of anything. We can just do a nice clean two damage. I was going to say that I swap, but I I could. I don't have to. I keep on wanting to move my characters, you know, the, the normal-ish way. Everybody just ganging up on you over here. You can also just hop over this. Not that I want to. Shoop. Hey, 
Randall. Alright, so we get an energy each turn. Special ability is Stun Shock. Stuns an enemy for a turn. Has a range of two spaces, so it requires careful positioning. Okay. Stun Shock requires two energy. Bit starts each combat with zero energy. Charges one per turn. Thanks to the passive ability Recharge. Stun. Stuns the targets. They lose. They lose a turn. Oh, okay. Well, hey. That'll work just fine. Get in there. Go for a slash. Get out. <laughs> You're not... Wait, can I, uh... That's pretty fun. Alright, we'll just line you up straight so we can maybe... Whoop. Next. What is this little camera here? Screenshots. Just... just I, I didn't know if that... If it was just gonna be that straightforward. It's straight up just... It is just camera shots. Bye-bye. Get out of here, punk. Map cleared. We got nothing. We also took no damage, though. Nobody's dead. Get in the getaway car. Permadeath is disabled on this tutorial mission. All right. At the city, you'll be able to acquire job contracts or visit places of interest. One place you'll probably be visiting after each run is the cruise HQ. In the basement of the Jazz Club. Click on the Jazz Club sign. Then to the HQ. To take a contract, check the weekly jobs that appear on the top left corner of the screen. And there you'll be able to see which jobs are available. The bounty prize and the reinforcement level that the mission has. The reinforcement level is the countdown that will run through the whole mission. When it reaches zero, enemies will invade the current room and the countdown will restart. Harder reinforcement levels will bring in more enemies in less turns. Be prepared. Before accepting a mission, you can switch the current party with characters from the roster. If you need more characters, pay a visit to the HQ to hire a new one. I mean, we probably start with this one then, right? Rosters. We don't have a roster. Go to the Black Pepper. Welcome to the cruise, Bounty Hunt and HQ. Here you can hire new crew members, buy items, talk to NPCs, and upgrade the cruise facilities. Hire a character, select one of the characters sitting at the bar to check their stats and abilities. If the character interests you, then pay his hiring costs and the character will be added to the roster of characters. Look closely at the abilities before hiring. For example, Frank has the punch attack, but another boxer might have 1-2 instead, which is a 1 damage attack instead of a knockback, and has repeat, allowing the attack to perform twice each turn. Alright, so Spear Blast, ranged 1 damage piercing. Energizer. Side swap. Seems I think that's the same. Oh wait, double swap. Is that Hey there, stranger. Come closer, might have something that interests you. I got good prices. Alright. Gas compressor. Add knockback to a ranged ability. Armor with a movement buff. Very cool. Jump kick, side swap. Cannon Blast, one range knockback. I don't know how much I care. Oh, they have like, they have different health as well? Yeah, energy capacity four. Yeah, they have different stats too. Tech Wizard. I don't know whether or not a Pierce would be good or not. I'll get you. Welcome aboard, Ivan. Whether or not I'm bringing you, probably not. Hold on, there's the barkeeper as well. That may be something. Welcome, I'm Black. I run the Black Pepper Jazz Club. You'll be running the bounty hunting business on the basement. I believe you'll be doing a great job. Come talk to me whenever you're having a bad day, and I might have something to cheer you up. Been on the search for more great bands to play here, but haven't been lucky yet. You have something to cheer me up? Go ahead, Mark. All right, well, out we go. We could swap you. I mean, I'll do it for the sake of 
I'll do it for the sake of it. We spent money on him. Let's use him. Before starting a mission, you can choose in which room to start. The starting point will reveal which path towards the boss will be taken. Each room will have a challenge and a reward, so choose carefully what works best for your strategy. Before embarking on the mission, the last stop is the equipment screen. Equip your characters and add important items to the equipment bag. This bag will be opened between combat rooms and provide an opportunity to heal and re-equip your characters. Cool deal. So, I kind of like it. It's like we're planning a heist here. Basement, beat the boss, reward bounty money. Back door, defeat two enemies. Side entrance. Challenge, move at least 14 spaces with all of the party. Reward is a legendary item. We can't actually start there, can we? We can start here. This is really cool. I really like... This is just like a, such a simple, elegant map screen. I like it. You just make make one choice, and then you're done. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm really not sure about... I'm really not sure about this. Minus two movement buff feels really rough. I'll do it. If you take damage, you take damage, I guess. The armor should prevent it, you know. Place your crew somewhere within this range. Okay. Frog boy. Ah, shoot. your range. Okay, so if we do this, we can go boom, bang. I think we have it. I think I, I think I can see the line here. Oh, here we go. The music's kicking in. Okay. Immediate issue. Okay, so we move here, we kick. And then we replace our movement. Okay. Thank God for undo. Because then we can... Whoop! That actually helps us a lot. That means we can't be hit by you. And then you can move... Diagonally first... As you can scoot on through. Sounds good. And then for you, I see the line of yank the man in. Curses. New plan. Punch him. We got to go all, all the way in to do that then. It's fine. We got him out of the way. He's not going to be able to get the backpack either. Anybody else have the ability to move? You do. I'll say get in here. Nice move, dude. Turn 1 out of 12 for enemy reinforcements to arrive. So we know that we need to move a lot of tiles. So therefore... I'm going to go ahead and just move kind of for the sake of it it's a little bit rough I guess hmm maybe we should have moved and try and done a cannon blast instead just trying to think of how we can get that properly Grab the bag so he can't get it at the very least. Does that count as movement? Doesn't look like it. So if we moved up here, that'd be a one, two, three, four. That should be good enough. Because then we can just kick him back. Ah, uh, curse my movement! Actually, my movement screws it all up! 
See, like the only changes we made to the roster actually messed it up quite heavily. Uh, oh, there's a little system up here that shows you what all they still have the option to do. That's fantastic. Because I can do a two damage knockback. Oh, wait, we have it. We have it. Never mind. I, th I thought that only did one. I thought that only did one. So good. Two damage and a knockback. Crate box places an object on an available space. Shuriken. Is that a consumable? <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, this... Hold on, wait a minute. I had no idea this game existed. This is so cool. A retro hoodie with mysterious powers. Feels like it came from another dimension. We got a red hoodie in the... Hold on, okay. I knew I was vibing with you, game. I knew I was vibing with you. Gandolf outfit, legally distinct. Uh, I mean, I have to. Rotates the character's attack range. Cross... Cross ranges become diagonals and vice versa. That is such a fun thing. Oh my god. That is so unexpected. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. I gotta be honest. Usually I get I, I am notified when um stuff is added, and like this is a really this is a more exciting way to find out, is just kind of finding it. That's so cool. Okay. It's a it's a reference to my to my red hoodie. It has to be, right? I could be off my rocker, but a retro hoodie, a retro red hoodie from a different dimension. I don't think it's a reach. Um, okay. What do we do with that? Attack buff of one rotates the attack range. So we could literally, we could make Vera into checkers. <laughs> like we could actually be playing and playing checkers there. If we do things right, it is the biggest potential benefit because she does two damage per attack. And it has an armor. Oh my god, what a what a cool, what a cool, what a cool thing. I feel like Frank having the ability to put down a barricade is pretty good because you could like grab somebody, knock them back, and then put the barricade between you. Like that seems like a good call. Shuriken, I mean, it feels like an easy usage on you. Move at least 10 spaces with the party. I mean, we can do that. Hmm. You don't have the ability to move a ton. God, I kind of want to have them come to me, but, like, the ability to run away is not very... It's not really something we have too much we could definitely destroy this guy like literally two hits one boom dash so boom pull hit okay so you move here pull hit back move hit that's that guy's dead just like just like that that son of a gun's gone I think we'll probably just let this fool do their thing. So I'm going to have you guys just be in weird spots and I'm going to move you a lot so we can try and get that 10, the 10 tile boost. Okay. We'll go for the tongue lasso. Bonk. Big bonk. All right, same deal. Like I said, just let's get the movement for the sake of getting the movement. One, two, three, four. The music is so fun. Lol. Man, don't get a play. Man, don't get a play. I'll say it's going to be a lot harder to line somebody up for checkers. So, like, 
where would they have to be? They would still have to be like on a grid. We just have to approach it from a different angle. Actually, it's the same. So if it's here, we could like go boop boop. Yeah. All right. It's it's roughly it'd be roughly the same then. But nobody's in a good spot for me to really get them. You got how much damage? Okay. Sadly, I can't. Okay, I I'd probably have to um. Can move here. This can dash two in a diagonal. One two one two. Yeah, I mean I can't really. Can't really sort that. So I think I would have to go for the movement here. Swoop. Once again, this move seems cracked. We've moved all the tiles we needed. You get out of here. You get out of here. Another shuriken. Don't mind if I do. Next. Awesome bandage. Heal the full or another revive. Uh, you know, wishful thinking. Let's go for a full heal. I don't think I adjust anything. What on God's green earth? Okay, hold on. One, two, three, pull. We could go for like a... One, two, three, four. Oh God, that's so weird. Yeah, and then with that, the leapfrog in action. Two health, three health. It feels like I have to take damage here, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what these enemies do. I feel like you maybe want to be here. You have four movement. One, two, three. Ay, ay, ay. What it'd be to be one. How do I, how did I have it? One, one, two. How would I do this? Three, I can't get that there. Give me a second. All right, I don't know, man. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to. How much health do you have? You have three, that's awkward for me. So many, so many enemies. Okay, so the plan is maybe like move oh wait no 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 because it would pull you forward all the way so I wanted to go for like a one two three four which I guess I could do if I'm willing to have him be all the way up there which maybe I think maybe that's the plan for the love of god I think I just just do it man which means that you maybe hang out over here you hang out like here Something like that. All right. It's a lot of enemies. This is very sketch. But this is the plan. We're playing checkers. One, two, three. Wait. Oh, we could even go for you. I think that feels the best. One, two, three. Ah, I beefed it. I see, I see, I see. Never mind. I just beefed it. I need to pull you. Wait, why can't I do this one? Am I wrong? Wait, why am I? Why can't I do this one? One, two, we're right here. Three, we're right here. Is it because I can't, I can't move? 
Ah, uh, I can't overlap the tiles I've been to before either. I mean, I gotta be real. I think we still have to do that. I think that anything other than that is a silly thing to do at this point. I just wish we... Eh, I wish hindsight we would have moved you then. Okay. Can go ahead and get a little bit of a pop over here. So... Deal death load Vera. I mean, we could shuriken... You are swarmed. I don't really know what to do with you. So I'm not going to want to swap. This character is... Feels the weakest so far, this concept. I'm going to go for... I can't do the shoot because we already did the shoot. I think we just have to move in. He's got armor. So we want him to be the one that takes it. I mean, it's gonna hurt. Gives us a little bit of something, something. But that also probably opens up the ability for you to get to me anyways. Let's go ahead and put down that crate instead. How about that? Could have used the shuriken, I guess, earlier. Yeah, we should have used the shuriken earlier. There's just so many, so many things that can go wrong. That guy can't get to us. Oh, okay. That's logical. The rhino has a charge. Wait, are the monkeys just... Wait. <laughs> are the monkeys not bad? Are they just vibing? The monkeys are just vibing. That's on me. Okay. Pull smack... Then we could do, like, a little bit of a... We can't do it. We can't do a diagonal hop anywhere. Um, yikes. I got overload for choices, man. All I know is this one's gotta go. So I'm kind of thinking we do the tongue lasso. Or we could just, like, smack him into the wall. Maybe that'll work. Well, no, but we have to pull him into a spot where we can, um... Where we can actually hop over him. Because currently we can't. So I think we have to move move up here. Or... Let's do it without moving first. Because, yeah, the two spots that I could hop diagonal are here or here. Puts me into some weirdness. You're the one with the armor. I like the idea of getting you over here. Blasting. This will do a little bit of extra damage that way. Throw a little shuriken as a treat. We're not going to... Oh, wait. Vera and Ivan. Apparently. Maybe we could. It looks like they only move in the... Directions nearest. Well, unless I want to take damage. Well, actually, I can get away with not taking damage, too. What the hell? Assuming I understand the rhinos correctly, which I probably don't because they, they have some kind of crazy charge. I don't know if I care about getting this... We need. We do need to move quick, so... You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. I don't care about your stinking item. We already got the only one that matters. Okay. I do like that it shows when which things they have up there. The quality of life on that is really good. It's fine. I got armor. This is going to be less fine. Okay, that was all of your armor broken. I didn't even know you had armor. Oh, yeah, you do have armor, but you... Yeah, that was the hoodie broken. That's a shame. That is a crying shame. The charge attack is pretty brutal. 
you went into a pretty annoying spot there. You kind of makes it so... Okay, so how do I do this? Because I can't run you to the side. Can't knock you back. You're going to... I'm going to be able to kill you. That's not really a problem. If I knock somebody back into the wall, does that help? Man, I threw away my hoodie. That's so sad. I don't think that there's going to be any move that's just better than doing a damage to this fool. I think that that will certainly be the best start. What's really annoying is I bet I could do two damage to him if I hit him into the wall. But it doesn't really matter because this jerk <laughs> is in my way. Um, and I can't, let's see, I can't really pull him in any which way. You just get the hell out. Just get the hell out. I think that's just going to be what we do. We'll cannon blast you. And then as long as we move you here and have somebody in between the two of us, we're actually fine. Because he can't... He can't charge through. I mean, maybe he can, but... He'd be dumb. Defeat all with two characters? Hey, I'm fine with it. I don't even know if we have to kill the, the nice monkeys... Here we go. We go for the pull. We're going to see if this does double damage. It does do double damage because it does count as them hitting the wall. Cool. I don't know if that means the room's done or not. It is. Okay, so the monkeys are just nice guys. Fun drug. <laughs> Attack buff for one turn. Landmine sets up a trap that activates. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, fa I failed a lot on that one. Don't you worry. I'm aware I'm aware. I'm disappointed in myself. Don't worry. Okay, hold on. That's really good because we could just pull them onto it. Now the shuriken sounds good. I'll say moving in the diagonals was a little rough anyways. Ever so slightly rougher. Okay. Nobody needs a heal. Correct. Next. Well, hello. We got the runs, but we also have these things. Do they have... I wonder if there's a problem with them? If we can, like, if we hit them, if they do something, something, or what? We'll see. I'm curious if you, like, if you hit them, if they'll go back or something like that, you know? Or if they are just an object. It's a good start. What could go wrong? Lol. <laughs> And that's why he gets the hoodie. Okay, so... The thing is, I will be in, like, a chargeable position now with you, but do I care? Eh, probably not. Just, just don't put myself in another chargeable position, that's all. You can make it there. But I could go like this. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. That, that makes sense. We knew that was coming. We got an apple. I ain't worried about it. So we do we have to kill these? I'll admit, I went wild because I thought there was a chance I didn't need to kill them. So you have the you have the armor. Mm. 
I don't know if I'm ever going to get him in a spot where I can go for 1-2. Yeah, I don't think I could ever get, get the one-two anyways. This will probably be the last thing we do, so let last uh, fight we do. Let's just go for it. We'll have you end your turn closer to him, see if we can make that do something for us. There's not quite gonna... Actually, we can whoop, do that. There we go. Now this is a little weird. I don't because I don't want to punch him onto the. Yeah, this is a little weird. And I can't shoot through myself. We have the shuriken. You know what? Do I? I guess if, if it's the last fight, do I really care about the bag? I guess I don't. Shawoop. Do you have any armor left? You do not. So, basically run away. You can have that backpack. Choke on it. Does Ivan have any armor? Doesn't look like it. So then, we're probably going to get charged by the rhino. Yeah, all in all, this worked out kind of awkward. Not, not a great... Yeah, because you're going to move here and then you're going to charge. Oh! Oh! Well, there it goes you. <laughs> that... That turned sour very, very quickly. The thing is, we're fine. Yeah. I don't feel good about what just happens, but it doesn't matter. I just realized we can technically probably... I didn't think we could change those, because in my head I was like, oh, these are, those are glued to the ceiling. Why would they be able to be moved? Okay. One, two, three, four. We can get you this turn, then. Cannot get you this turn. One, two, three, four. So we'll just make you not be able to get hit. Theoretically, you should not be able to get a clean charge on anyone here. I goofed it. RIP, nice frog man. We killed the boss in one hit. <laughs> or one, like... One quick, swift blast. And then we just... And we just let it kind of get beat a little bit. So, can I... Okay. Probably more optimal to use the bandage, but at this point, eh. Doesn't really matter. Ivan, Vera... I mean, Vera really needs that movement. I am H.O. Because it's really, like, all about getting into that clean, hot combo. All right, though. Let's head back. See what else kind of, uh, what other kind of things we can see here. This game is cool. I really like it. I really like the kind of, yeah, it's just very... Nothing about any of the moves is too complicated. And yet, it is... Like, everything is very clear, very telegraphed. Yet, you can have really complex, thought-provoking, strategic uh -huh. fights. Uh -huh. See this face of success, and I smell money. Indeed. So we can sell stuff. Uh -huh. Seems like... Great job, let's celebrate. Uh -huh. Yeah, this man's on fire. The <laughs> they will be huge on the jazz scene, I betcha. But... Yeah, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for the Black Pepper crew. I, this came out of nowhere for me, and I really, really like it. I was just browsing Steam, and I just saw it, and I am super in. I really, 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 really enjoyed my time with it here. So let's, let's see. We got a new demo. 
It's going to be coming out in early access. It just says coming soon. Uh, nothing specific that I see yet otherwise. Uh, but yeah, I'll be keeping my eyes on this. I would not hate to play more of this, that is for sure. So hey, if you want more, let me know in the form of a comment down below. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.